All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a revolutionary new type of uh, slack line set up. It's called the Arrayan Special. We're about to uh, demonstrate that to you right now. Okay, so it'll start with, um, on, Pete, if you could look down at the other end, the rope is terminated down there, and... How to tie that knot over there it involves a carabiner the webbing and a chain link this is a 5,000 pound um, test chain link uh, you put a bite in the webbing and then you put the bite through the chain link and come over the chain link and back through the chain link like so there's the bite right there we clip the carabiner through the bite again and then that will cinch down. The tail end, let's clean up our mess here. The tail end of this, this is just extra webbing down here. It's not gonna get used for anything. So we could cut this off right here and be done with it. Um, I'm not gonna lock this carabiner just yet. Pete, if you could hold on to that one. But of course. And as you look down here, we have a piece of webbing timber hitched to the tree. Um, whatever static type of termination you come up with is fine. It's important to have a carabiner hanging right there. And we're going to grab a different piece of webbing with an eye tied into the end. Um, and I clipped, this is tied with a bowline on a bite. And I clipped a carabiner in under the loop of the bowline. That's going to come in handy later um, to get some mechanical advantage. And it also prevents the bowline on a bite from cinching down too tight so that when we're done with it later, we can untie everything easily. So we'll start by clipping the bowline on a bite to the timber hitch around the tree. And then one of these, this is just a tail, we're gonna ignore that, um, we don't need it. Then this tail is gonna come up through the slack line carabiner, back through the bowline on a bite carabiner. And now we're going to grab another carabiner, clip it to the slack line carabiner, and then run the webbing tail through that. And then we'll do that again with the bowline on a bite carabiner. Run the webbing through there. And then one final time, each time clipping to the next carabiner in the link. Never clipping two carabiners to one because we've noticed they pinch down when you do that. At that point, we can grab this whole tail. And just to clarify, right here is all one piece of webbing to pull slack line. The timber hitch is a separate piece of webbing and then we'll call this the tension webbing. Um, I can now pull on the tension webbing And then we can tie this off wherever we want to here. Um, let's do a soft tie off right there. So we started with the termination of the slack line approximately six feet away from the tree, and we brought it in to about three feet away. And with another person pulling, I'm sure I can get these carabiners right here to bunch up against each other, and that would be the maximum amount of tension we could get in the system. Lock down all your carabiners, and you're good to go. Awesome. Yeah!